Okay, so uh, I'm chairing the assessment committee and uh, here at the slides you can see that we are uh, six uh, members from different countries. And um, I will just report uh, shortly for about uh, B center assessments and A service assessments. And um, that's, um, I'll just go quick through the, also this, uh, the decisions from the meeting we had yesterday morning. And uh, of course, you can always approach us uh, about questions about assessments. So uh, the B Center assessments, we have a spring round. Uh, we usually have two, two rounds each year about the, the B Centers. And uh, this uh, spring round, we only had one center that was assessed. And that was not that because we rejected ones, but uh, there was only one that was really ready for assessment. And, um, and the reason that we do not have an awesome uh, round, or not yet at least, is that we, the B center assessment is based on the data seal of approval assessment. So if you have, want to have a B center that's a data, a data center, you should have a data seal of approval for your data center as a part of the process to be a clearing B center. And the data seal of approval people, they decided to reorganize their questions and their recommendations and therefore the, it has not been possible for uh, centers to apply for the DSA the last month and now they have uh, promised us that they will be uh, up again and running in the end of November. And to get the centers a chance to apply for the DSA before having to have the um, uh, apply for the B center assessment, we have decided that the deadline for the next, next B center assessment round will be the end of January. And of course you can, as soon as the DSA uh, releases the new interface for assessment, please uh, look at it if you are considering to be a B sender. I should also say that uh, there should have been a reassessment of uh, four B senders this, uh, this year. And uh, because of this DSA uh, reorganization, we have uh, the Standing Committee of Clarion Technical Centers have decided yesterday that the, the, the seals for those four centers are extended uh, to, to mid uh, next year. So the centers has a fair chance to go through this DSA procedure again when things have changed. Uh, the B center checklist is almost stable. Uh, but uh, for, from uh, the view of the assessment committee, we want to make it a bit more automatic uh, checking uh, and therefore we will try to integrate the new metadata creation uh, uh, module. And so that's uh, the only change for the B-Center assessment thing. And then a little bit about A service assessment. A services it is a service, it's a service that has a kind of broader scope for the infrastructure. And um, the, the, we had the first A service uh, approved uh, in September, and it was the Lindat repository. And um, uh, now we have some experience with the, the process and uh, the assessment criteria and the checklist. So now we're going to update them. And uh, what we will add is uh, that the um, that people providing an A service should uh, add something about funding support. They should do a kind of listing of dependencies of uh, do something of, like uh, a, a simple risk analysis, how stable, how vulnerable are the service. And um, uh, then we also need a kind of way to register this A service thing. And that's, we, are, we are missing that currently on the web page. Yeah. So. Uh, so the next deadline for the A service assessment will be in the first quarter of next year. Uh, perhaps it will be uh, uh, at the same time as the B senders in the end of January, but it depends that we have these documents updated so it's clear and nice to, uh, to jump into as uh, A service uh, provider. And um, Remember that if you want to uh, apply for being an a, uh, providing an A service, 
you should have the standing committee of the Clarion Technical Centers to approve this before you go for assessment. Yeah, just a few words about the future work focus for the committee. We, we want to mature these A-service assessment documents and procedures. Um, we want to make the B-Center te uh, test a bit more automatic. And we, uh, we think that we should kind of promise that when from, from we have the deadline for a B-Center assessment to it's improved, in, uh, it's, uh, it's finalized in the standing committee for cl technical clearance centers, <laughs> there should be not more than three months uh, passing. And uh, then we also want to promise to uh, monitor the expiration dates of the seals, so you will get a warning six months in advance when your seals are expi expiring. Uh, currently, we have a three-year validity of the, of the seals we are uh, giving, so it's not uh, its second year, but it's, and therefore you can easily forget it because you have three years before the next assessment. Then. Um, uh, the timing of later rounds depends on how much uh, demand there will be for it, but we will schedule them as soon as we have an, uh, an idea of uh, how things are, how quickly things are going for the centers. And then I want to thank the committee members for being involved and very active. And then I'll say that if you have any questions, please uh, write at this uh, email address, assessment at Clarin EU, or contact me or others from the committee. Uh, we are very uh, happy to answer your questions and to uh, help uh, this process going smooth. Okay, that's all. <laughs>